Hey guys, Frank the Pest Geek here. Man, what a day at Pest Management University. Um, it's grueling. I'm exhausted. Uh, my brain, ah, uh, my brain is about to explode uh, from the information. Uh, I probably, I drove in yesterday in the afternoon and man, it was like, I went to bed like around 10. I said, I'm going to be up early. And uh, I, I, I woke up like at well, one in the morning, freaked out because there was light outside. And I looked at my phone and I'm like, I thought it was like seven and I was late. And it's because the hotel has all the lights outside in the hallway. And I'm used to sleeping in a pitch black room. Um, I don't have any lights at all flashing. I don't even have my phone in my room when I sleep. And I wake up and it's one in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep hardly. So I just stayed in bed and I got up at five and did my morning routine, which I'm going to show you guys my morning routine. I actually recorded it from the hotel room. I did a two hour routine. So by seven o'clock, I was done, took a shower, went over to Denny's, grabbed me um, an ultimate omelet because I needed a ton of fat because I knew it was I'm going to use up a lot of brain cells today. And uh, hold on a second, this thing is kind of sliding. And uh Ran over there, got into the class, and the class, I was there like 10 minutes early and, and started the class. And, man, um, you know, we finished at 5, um, and it's grueling. But I got to tell you guys, if if you are a pest control professional and you really want to get the education, the, the, the both the scientific and the practical, you want the entomological college level uh, education, um, which is what I enjoy. If you've listened to my podcast, um, I, I, I appreciate both the academics and both the practical. We, we need both in the industry. I think we need to get past the, the just doing the, um, I'm gonna put my hand here cause I don't have my little tripod with me and I'm trying to record. Um, we need both the, the, the practical, from people who've actually done it in the industry, plus people who have been researching it and know the entomology inside and out versus just what chemical do I apply to do this. Um, so we're going back tomorrow for day two and then half day on uh, Friday. But if you're a pest control technician in Florida, you got to make it your mission in life to get to this pest management university. Um, and the earlier you do it in your career, the better off you're going to be because you're not going to get a ton of the bad habits and the bad training and the bad information that is in this industry. And uh, I have to be the one to tell you that that's one of the reasons I started the, the pest geek podcast is because the amount of bad training or I had to wait to get CEUs or I had to wait to get things and the training is just not available. I'm telling you that um, if you're serious, if you're the A player in your company, the guy who wants to be that best of the best in the industry, you need to make the investment. Even if you have to pay it yourself because your boss won't pay for it, to get to this because I've been trying to get to this now for at least five years. It's just, I haven't been able to, it is far for me. It's, it's in Orlando. It's four hours away. Um, it's three days, four days that I need to be gone. It is hotel and food. Um, you know, it's, it's $300, 200 and something for the class. I think the master class is 400 and you've got hotel for three days. You know, that's like 300 bucks. And then you've got food and you've got the travel and you've got to be away from home. But if you're a serious professional that you want to be in the top 1% of the elite in your field, um, this is where you need to be. This is the hands down, the, the place to be. I've taken a lot of good courses in my life. I've paid for them. This is probably the best experience that um, I've ever had. Uh, from both the academic and the practical. Um, we had great, great. Alan Fogler was here from insurance. Um, 
We had um, Joe Jonovich, which, you know, he used to own a pest control business. He owned the distribution business. Uh, now he's doing the consulting work. You had Faith Oy, which, by the way, um, Faith is just one of those delightful people um, that if you had a teacher like this in high school, um, you would have done great because she makes learning fun. She makes you want to learn. Um, I think uh, just just a, a, a lively spirit, a person. Um, we just had dinner. I had dinner with Joe and I had dinner with her. Uh, we just came back from that. It's about nine o'clock at night. And we were talking for like three hours about all of the things that we would like to accomplish in this industry um, and the vision and the just the, the stuff, the vision she has for bringing this online and, and you know, having this curriculum available at other colleges locally where you guys are at. Um, just an enormous vision. Um, it's just uh, from academia, you usually don't get a vision like that. This is why I'm so freaking excited um, because you don't get that. You, you usually get compliance, you get, well, you know, education. Um, you know, I studied, you know, I studied entomology. I, I, I get it. Um, this is different. This is, this is just amazing. Um, so I want you guys to look into this uh, pest management university. I mean, I've recommended in the past, I said, if you want to get a good correspondence online education, go to Purdue. Um, because Purdue is amazing. Um, I, 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 it is, I'm, I'm looking at right now, I'm going to finish PMU. I'm going to come to all the courses. I'm going to, I'm taking four this year, or three, and then um, I'm doing two in February, one in March, March 10th through the 12th is the class. And then I'm going to the Paul J. Bellow um, conference he's doing um, in, in Deerfield beach. So I'm going to be running, I'm going to be gone for almost seven days of training uh, in one week. Um, it is brain overload. I mean, load up on, you know, a lot of protein and a lot of fat and get on keto. Um, cause I got really hungry and they fed us very well. Um, so there was really good food, uh, but I had to have breakfast and I had my keto coffee in the morning with my MCT oil. And that usually keeps me full till noon. And then I have lunch sometimes between 12 and two, not today. I burned up all the calories. My brain cells were, you know, taking a dump um, on this. But every worth every penny, guys. I can't really tell you. Um, I got so many notes. I got so many things I'm going to be discussing on the podcast. Things I've never heard before. And I've heard a lot of things. I talked to a lot of people. Um, this is stuff I've never heard before. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you looking forward to me learning termite i'm actually totally illiterate um i've said it before i'm totally illiterate when it comes to termite because i've never gotten involved with it i don't do it i never got trained in it I understand that i've been self-taught most of the way never had anybody really train me um, i had to learn how to learn um, and train myself in this industry and i've taken a lot of courses from a lot of good people but a lot of what I know, I know from the street, from doing it. Um, so this is what I want you guys to take away from this, that you've got to do it. Um, I can't say enough about this program um, that and I've been like crazy. I've been trying to get over here for like four years because I know that I've had people tell me it's amazing. But until you're actually here, forget about Pest World. Okay, forget about the training you think you're going to get at Pest World. You get the networking. You guys get to have a vacation. So this is, this is like up here, like the the closest thing you're gonna get to getting a practical entomology degree in a very short period of time. Um, that's what it compares to. So you know, I highly recommend it. I'm gonna post this tonight, but I'm exhausted. I want to go to bed. I could not not post this tonight and let you know about it. Um, without going to bed and, and talking about it because I'm just that freaking, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now, guys. If you're a pest geek, this is where you want to be. Hey, this is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a pestacular night. Have a great one, folks.